Thank you for coming tonight. Uh, the next piece I'm going to pass on to be conducted by my colleague, the band teacher, Mr. Shad Johnson. set of seniors for me um, because they are my first uh, set of seniors that I've had all four years since they were freshmen um, with the exception of two that transferred um, but uh, you know they, they were a very very small class of nine my first year here and I looked at my roster and I said wow that's a really small class and they were all at varying ability levels and these were the kids that gave me a chance and these were the kids that chose to do orchestra even if they didn't know the teacher or anything about the teacher. And um, so it's been a joy to watch these seniors grow musically and personally the last four years. Some of them were 13 as freshmen and 14 and get to watch them you know, drive and, and graduate is just a joy for me. Um, and one of the perks of being the orchestra teacher and having these kids year after year is that I get to see that growth. So this is a senior slideshow put together by Caitlin Davies-Sher. Caitlin, can you? There you go. She spent a lot of time doing these slideshows today, so I would like to recognize her. This 
this is the first year that my husband didn't have to frantically do the slideshow the night before because I couldn't figure it out. And so Caitlin did it all by herself um, as a historian with help of our other historians and our other orchestra council members. And so uh, we will show that to you right now. Thank you.
Molly, would you be so kind to turn some of the lights up for the back there? They're having a hard time seeing their music. Thank you. For the next piece, um, this is a what we call a senior project. And um, these students, along with me, we picked out this music together. And um, they've worked very hard on it before and after school and in their own time. And um, I'm not going to say much about it because it will just speak for itself. It's a gorgeous piece. We are also very honored to have my dear friend Celeste Rios here, um, volunteering her time and playing the heart part for us as well today. So thank you, Celeste, for doing that. So the next piece is theme from Schindler's List.
such extreme joy to see those ladies perform that on stage. Um, and can you believe Queen Creek's got some talent, don't we? Well, it's a students this year who have lettered in orchestra. These are students who have been through all of our day festivals, competed all of our field trips, um, gone above and beyond. They had to fill out an application. They also have to get a grade of A, have no unexcused absences or tardies, and they have to participate in one fundraiser. So these are the students that have lettered. I'll have them stand up and just make a line here and then I will give your letters. Not all of them will actually get a letter because a lot of them have lettered in sports or academics. But these are the ones with letter. Chance Parkinson, Dawson Daly, Riley Thompson, Caitlin Debuchere, Zach Merced, Janae Brooksby, and Kimberly Bittinger. Come up here to receive it. And then for students who have lettered before, the year before, they're eligible to receive their first year pin. And they have similar requirements and of course have lettered before. So these students that are receiving a first year pin today to put on their letter is Megan Hope, Ashton Lawler, Cece Parker Burke, Calla Butler, and Taylor Sutton. Come on up. And then, this is my first year, I think we've had second year pins. So these are people who have lettered, who've had their first year pin, and now they've applied for their second year pin. And that is Ashlyn Pruitt and Michaela Epps. piece that we're gonna have here in a moment and um, again I just I love this concert this is my favorite concert I really try to highlight and show off my students at the end of the year um, and this particular person when he was in eighth grade he joined up back in orchestra so yeah, that was my first year yeah my first year here in Queen Creek and he had taken a year off and so he was a little bit behind and he was kind of unsure, um, but he really enjoyed the violin. And so he really gave it his all. He practiced a lot. He asked many questions, and he caught up really quickly. Um, and then he took a really big interest in composing and arranging pieces. He really likes to do that as a hobby. So one of the pieces that um, the next piece he's doing is a theme from Skyrim, but he took like a reduction of a score and then arranged it just for our orchestra. So he wrote all the parts today. We've been working on it for about a year and a half, two years, me and him, before they worked on it. Um, making changes to the score, making sure that the bowings and the fingerings and the parts were appropriate and the notes. Um, and he's done such a great job. And I'm so proud to hand over the podium to him in a minute. And that will be William Kingham that will conduct themes from Skyrim here in a moment. So enjoy. <laughs>
right, a couple more words to give out. You know, sometimes as a teacher, there's a lot of administrative work and paperwork, and I really don't like it. <laughs> and my students know that. However, I tell them every day when I'm there in the classroom and I'm teaching, I, I say it over, but I really believe it, I have the best job ever. I, I just truly enjoy the students, and, um, oh, I'm getting emotional, guys. Um, it just makes me so happy to see things like that. Um, it's just a great testament to their commitment and dedication to the program. So with that being said, I really do, I tell them, I wish I could give them all awards because they're all truly special. Um, but these are students that I feel like this year have um, maybe gotten a little bit above and beyond. So the first award I'm giving out this year, um, year is Most Improved Award. This particular student, we implemented a new program, maybe some of you have heard it, Smart Music Program. And uh, it was a little bit rough for me and rough for the students taking the quizzes. And some of them had some surprisingly low scores. And um, this student worked really hard to try to get her scores up. And I, you know, I was worried because she got a low score and I said, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. And she came out and she said, you know what, Mrs. Payne, it's okay that I got a low score because this shows me exactly what I need to work on and it's really helping me improve. And so now I know what to do better next time. And I just, I was marveled, and I, I just stood there and I said, what a great attitude. She wasn't necessarily disappointed. She just was looking with a positive outlook, how can I get better, and how can I take that low score and make it into something to make me a better player. And um, that whole day, I really needed an uplifting, positive note like that, and that lasted my whole week, and she actually encouraged me to have a different outlook that week. And that is Kara Arrington. freshman. This particular individual came in with a zest for orchestra and um, she has a very boisterous personality and even though she didn't know everyone at first, uh, everyone knew her by the end of the week, her first week, and um, she just took it upon herself. She, she didn't care if she was a freshman or if she was new to the top orchestra. She decided she was going to try out for anything and um, just try everything if she could and just give it her best. And um, so this particular individual as a freshman was our only freshman that tried out for regionals. And um, she didn't make it this year, but I know during her high school years that she will. And like I said, she just came with a zest for orchestra, always trying her best, trying to get to the top and um, learn from her peers. And she's well respected by her peers. And that is Kimberly Bittinger. <laughs> I'm so blessed to have so much talent in our orchestra. And this person is not only talented um, on her instrument, but she's all, also talented on many other instruments. Um, and she just likes to challenge herself. Um, we even invited her to play with us um, for another separate concert in chamber orchestra. And um, she is just always a joy, and I call her, she doesn't know this, but in my brain, I call her the orchestra cheerleader because she's always cheering on everybody. Um, no matter if they do maybe not the best, she'll be like, that's okay, you'll do better next time. Hey, do you want me to help you? Um, you need this. And she's just a really dependable player um, and very talented, and we're lucky to have her, and that's Miss Sarah Stewart. <laughs> We actually have another outstanding sophomore. And um, this particular individual is in chamber. And um, this person probably doesn't think that I notice her as much because she's just always happy and she just always does whatever is needed, needed of her. Um, whether I ask her to play first or second or can you do this for me or whatever the case may be. Um, and she's just a joy to have and I've had her since junior high and that is Miss Monica Smith. Next person. 
person, this is Outstanding Junior. This uh, person, again, she's I got a lot of really boisterous personalities. So it always makes my day really fun, especially in chamber orchestra when it's 7.30 a.m. and you don't think that they're quite awake. This particular person usually comes in the door like, hello, I'm here, good morning. And so um, she's really great to have an orchestra. And she, um, this year, she tried out for regionals and um, she was the first violinist to make regionals since my uh, teaching here. And that is Miss Michaela Epps. The next one is Outstanding Senior. Um, this particular person was a transfer student. And um, I've been trying to convince her for hmm, three years, I think I've been here three years, that she should major in music. Um, she might actually, who knows. Um, but um, this particular person, she's just very, very talented. Um, the students and her friends, if I see them around school, they'll be like, oh, you know what, she played for me, or she sent me a picture of her practicing. Oh, what are you doing on Friday night? Oh, you're practicing. And they just know that she practices, and it's not because she is necessarily a competitive person, it's just because she really enjoys her instrument. And I think you can probably tell that tonight when she played one of the solos. And um, that is Outstanding Senior C.C. Parker Burke. So took on upon herself to learn viola. So she's switching back and forth, and she's doing viola for the next song. So that's another asset that she brings to our orchestra. All right. The last award that I'm giving tonight is called the Director's Award. And um, this award is a perpetual award. It's actually in the classroom, and they get a little plaque, um, their name on a little plaque as well. And they get, of course, their plaque to take home. And um, this particular person, uh, Wow, she's gone above and beyond this year, and um, she's very special to my heart because she was one of my freshmen that I had four years ago, and um, I knew she was special then, but if you would have asked me where she would go in four years, I could have never dreamed that she would go this far, so she surpassed everything I could dream of, which is a wonderful thing. And um, this particular person not only is a very talented player, um, very well respected by her peers, um, an academic achiever, all of the above, um, she also was our orchestra council president this year. And um, she just took it upon herself this year to do thank you cards and arrange things um, along with her best friend Taylor Sutton. We have to, <laughs> our vice president as well. And um, they arranged um, like the food drive that we did and when we went to play for the nursing home. And they've just done so much and they're always just encouraging. And um, this particular person though, the president, Ashlyn Pruitt has got the Director's Award for going above and beyond and leading. <laughs> really influential in your life and um, have a good impact on the community. So I'm very proud of you guys. All right. Um, I also would like to take this time to thank our parent boosters. Are there any parent boosters out there? I know, know you're there. Do you want to be acknowledged? <laughs> I know some parent boosters out there. Um, Mrs. Mercer and Mrs. Davis especially, if you're out there but you don't want to stand up, that's okay. Um, after the show, come see me and I have a little something for you. But our parent boosters um, and all the parents who come to meetings here and there, we really appreciate your support. Um, without you, we wouldn't have been able to get our competition music. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to buy the awards this year. Um, we have a very, very tight budget and those parent boosters that are fundraising, we really appreciate your help and your support of our program. So I want to acknowledge them and thank you guys. I want to take the time to acknowledge um, my wonderful administration here that support us, 
um, our wonderful district administration, um, our superintendent, Mr. Lindsay, and um, sometimes behind the scenes, Molly Jacobs and her crew, they are fantastic here at the PAC, and they're always helping us. She even helped me set up chairs the other night and put name tags out and things like that for my other concerts, so I appreciate you guys. Without everyone's teamwork, and if I forgot anyone, I apologize, but without all that teamwork, these concerts could not happen, so I thank you guys. going to play for you tonight is called North Star of Freedom. This piece we took to competi competition. This group was the first group ever in Queen Creek High School history. I even confirmed it with the previous orchestra teacher that even qualified for state. So we qualified to state. We decided, you know what, we qualified this year. We're going to go. And we went and we got an excellent rating. The highest rating you can get is a su superior. We even had one judge actually get us a superior, but it didn't um, average. But we got an excellent, and I'm so proud of them. They did such a great job. So we hope that you enjoy this last piece.
going to take a sec and acknowledge Mrs. King. I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, words can't describe how awesome of a director she is. Um, I'm sure we would all agree that we've been so blessed to have been in orchestra with her, and she's taught us all I know a bunch. And I don't know what we're going to do without her. She's amazing. She worked so, so hard for us. She worked so many hours outside of school, and we just really love and appreciate her. And we wanted to first, this is from um, the entire orchestra. This is a, a music bouquet. These are different um, songs that we played throughout the year. And then these are uh, different tags that all the orchestra members have signed. And so we wanted to present this to her. your freshman year, which was your first year, and that's freaking crazy, especially considering how much the orchestra has progressed over the years. Thank you for teaching me for four years. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate everything that you've done for me and for the orchestra. Thank you for uh, teaching me over the past four years. It's been an awesome experience playing in this orchestra. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all you've done for me <laughs> the past four years. Just wanted to say thank you for all the work that you've put in these past two years with me. You probably don't realize how much of an impact you've made on me. Ever since I've been uh, at Queen Creek, I've always made me feel at home being in uh, the, or the orchestra. It's always been nice. I didn't start out liking orchestra, but because of you, it's become a part of my life. And thank you for that and all the hard work you've put in. Miss Payne, we freaking love you, and I definitely gain, I know Taylor has too, the greatest respect for you. I love playing the viola, and I love playing the orchestra. I've really enjoyed orchestra. As a teacher, you've made the biggest impact I could have imagined. You have been a huge influence on our orchestra, and you've really made us grow a lot. It's been a really great time in orchestra. <laughs> Honestly, our orchestra wouldn't be where they are today without you as our teacher. You make me want to be a better person. The way that you conduct and the way that you are able to lead a classroom of potential uh, uh, college uh, worthy students is, is very, uh, is a great achievement to me. You've given us a lot of really great opportunities and um, experiences that uh, we'll never forget. You're great and we love you. I've enjoyed so much of your class and competing to see who can find the shortest marriage out there. You definitely put 100% into everything that you do and we really appreciate that and look up to you in that regard. And I hope one day I can be as great as you are. You've taught me a lot. I'm going to miss you a lot. You've inspired me and I want to play the violin forever now. <laughs> I want to play like you do. I hope you keep doing a great job. You're doing amazing. and. Just keep doing what you're doing. We hope you have a successful rest of your years. I'm sure you will. We know it won't be the same, <laughs> though, because we won't be there. I'll miss you guys. I'm going to miss you. Bye. So we love you. We love you. <laughs> Goodbye. 
has been a great family and I'm going to really miss you. So thank you. And I just want to say thank you. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Payne. Hello. So we're just going to rehash the fact that we really enjoy singing, for you especially. And we're going to close this production with a, a tune. And it's kind of similar to the last one, which is quite still a little change the lyrics. So here it goes. Well, high school's almost over. It's crazy. We are done. Orchestra has really been loads of fun. You really have been the bomb. <laughs> we love you and we'll miss you because you're like our orchestra mom. Yeah. 
Thank you again, seniors. Yes, you officially made me cry during the video. <laughs> they said it was their goal. <laughs> um, thank you again. Thank you guys for attending the concert. We appreciate your support, and we hope that you'll be back next year. And seniors, we'd love to have you back and see you as alumni next year. Have a wonderful night. Thank you.